Hey there, thank you so much for deciding to hang out with me for a few minutes of your day today. I've been making YouTube content fairly consistently for the past few years and have somehow managed to keep almost all of my original footage from the videos that I've made across a couple of different channels. And while it's not a big number in the grand scheme of things, I've accumulated about 10 terabytes of data between the original clips and the projects and all of the media that has made up my videos over the past few years. Now, a while back, I did have a drive fail on my Synology DS1621XS Plus, and I made a short little video showing the replacement of that drive. Then a couple of weeks later, the folks over at Synology reached out and this, this is probably where I should mention that Synology did, in a sense, sponsor this video. Like they didn't send me any money or anything, uh, but they did send me some hardware for my setup, but they won't see this video before you do. Uh, this was just a nice little care package that they sent and uh, I wanted to make a video about it. So uh, yeah, here's the thing. Synology has been kind of a soft spot for me for the past few years. Uh, they were the first big company that reached out to me for a collaboration back when my channel was only like 20 or 25,000 subscribers. And our first collaboration was when they sent me the DS1621XS Plus with six eight terabyte Seagate hard drives in it. So that was like several thousand dollars worth of product for a very unknown content creator. Since then, they've also sent me a DS923 Plus and a couple of their PoE surveillance cameras. And I've been using the 923 Plus as the control center for the cameras since May of 2023. So anyway, like, like I mentioned, Synology reached out to me back at the beginning of August and mentioned that they had seen my drive replacement video. And then they also asked what they had sent with that 923 Plus. And I told them that it was just the device and a couple of four terabyte drives to do some testing with. So then they asked if they could send me a care package to quote unquote, pimp my 923 plus and make a video about it. Hey, so I'm editing David here. I was going back to get some B-roll for this little segment. And I realized that what they actually said was tricking out your 923, not pimping out. But uh, I feel like the sentiment was still the same. So we're just going to run with it. And because I'm almost always interested in free hardware and I really wanted to put the 923 plus to more use, I told them that I was definitely interested. So with that little intro out of the way, let's take a look at what Synology sent me and then we'll talk about how I'm going to use it. Okay, so this is my 923 plus right there. Uh, there you go, that's what that is. Man, it is, I haven't touched this in such a long time. It's really gross. Let's see, what is, what's going on down here? Okay, so that's gonna be for NVMe drives. It's been a while since I've been in here. So NVMe drives are gonna go into here. Uh, I believe, well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so uh, front obviously needs to be dusted. Um, okay, we're gonna, whoo, man. Oops, sorry, that was just really, really gross in there. So we're gonna set that there and then we're gonna pull this out. And then same thing, just really gross. And these are both uh, four terabyte Seagate Ironwolf NAS drives. These actually came with uh, the 923 when Synology sent me this first package. Um, so, and I think these, yeah, these are both empty. Such a terrible person about maintaining and cleaning this stuff out. All right, let's see. Okay, so we've got those set aside. Um, so that's what's going on here. Um, this does currently have 20 gigs of, of RAM. You can kind of see a, see those two sticks right there. They are mismatched. They are just some, it came with four gigs. I threw another 16 in it. Um, so they are very, very obviously mismatched. There we go. Oh, that's gross. Man, there's a lot of dust in there. Anyway, so <clears throat> this <clears throat> is the uh, four gigs of RAM from Synology. Uh, that's what it came with, but I had another 16 laying around. So I'm gonna pop this out, hopefully. There we go. Oh, this was also uh, Synology RAM. Oh, I lied. I'm stupid. This is 16 gigs. I don't know why. Yeah, 16 gigs, that's why. So uh, maybe maybe we'll just leave this. These are both ECC Synology RAM. Maybe I'll leave that. Because um, my plan was to put just 16 gigs of matched RAM, but it's not e ECC, it is Samsung, which is fine. Um, but I didn't realize that those were actually both Synology. Shows how much I pay attention to myself. Well, screw it, let's, let's put this back in there then. All right, so 20 gigs of Synology ECC RAM back in there. 
Again, I didn't realize those were matched. So let's, let's actually set this aside now that we know what is actually in there. Here a while back, Synology sent me this uh, right after I lost the 8 terabyte drive in my DS1621XS Plus. So let's open this up with my, with my Jerry Rig Everything knife. Of course, everybody's got these. And there's a reason. They're amazing. I really do like this. I even got my wife one. She loves it. They're just great, great, great knives. All right, let's see what we have in here. So uh, I'm going to assume hard drive. Oh, well, sort of. Okay, this is going to be an enterprise. Well, there's a couple of things in here. So we've got an 800 gig enterprise solid state hard drive here that I'm gonna end up using probably for caching. Man, I don't know. But it's an 800 gig uh, NVMe drive, so that's cool. That's definitely gonna be fun. And then uh, and then they also sent me a 10 gig NIC for the, for, for the device. So it'll be nice to have 10 gig connectivity to that. So anyway, that's great. I'm super stoked about that. These, on the other hand, these should be hard drives. And that box is really sticky. There we go. So, all right. I'm just gonna open both of these up and then we're gonna come back and take a look at them. There we go. Okay, so this is, well, both of these are the HAT, HAT3310 12 terabyte drives. Uh, these are some of their newer drives uh, for, for Synology, obviously, like it says right there. So I wanna talk just real quick about these hard drives that they sent over. Uh, again, these are the HAT, HAT uh, series hard drives. And here we can see that we're on that page. Um, and basically they're designed for 24 seven operation. That's what you would hope for, for from a NAS supplier. Uh, they also get firmware updates through DSM. So that's cool. I don't think I've ever uh, deliberately or even unintentionally installed firmware updates for a hard drive but I guess that's a thing that I've never done. And of course, because they're from Synology, you can get uh, direct troubleshooting support from Synology themselves. Um, they also got a, a workload rating of 180 terabytes per year with an MTFB of 1.2 million hours. So of course, I really appreciate that. Um, again, more firmware update stuff here. Uh, they do a bunch of comprehensive testing, as you would hope, again, from a NAS provider. They've got a three-year warranty. And of course, they're talking uh, specifically about different uh, systems that these are really good to use in. And of course, I've got the DS923 Plus. So that's that's what we're putting in there. Um, but if we come back up to the top, I wanted to take a look at the specs as well, just real quick. Um, and again, these we've got the HAT 3310 12T, the 12 terabyte drives, three and a half inch uh, form factor, SATA six gig, as you would expect. They're 7,200 RPM. Some of the uh, lower spec devices, as far as storage is concerned, are only 5,400 RPM. So I'm glad I got the faster drives. Uh, of course, with that, you get a faster, uh, what do we got? A maximum uh, sustained data transfer speed of 281 megabytes per second, three year warranty. Um, and then 3.3 uh, watts of uh, power for idle and 6.85 watts of, uh, of read and write uh, power consumption. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick so that we know what we're getting into for the actual hardware that's going into my NAS. There we go, pop that in. Cool, now that drive is mounted. There we go. All right, so now this rail should just pop right in now that it's lined up on the other side. Go cool. So now, now I've got two 12 terabyte drives and two four terabyte drives, and we're going to put those in here in just a little bit. Uh, the next thing I want to look at here is this uh, 800 gig drive here. So that's the drive that we're going to put in there. 800 gig uh, NVMe SSD. Of course, it's 2280. So we've got that, and then then we've got this 10 gig card here. Now I've never actually put one of these in. My, when I got my first Synology device, it already had this installed. Cool, uh, nice. So this is obviously, uh, it's an RJ45, which I super, super appreciate. Um, but right there, I don't know if you can see that. There we go, 10 gig right there. Um, so yeah, now we've got all of our parts. Um, let's see, let's see about putting some of this together. And there we go. It was just that easy to to get this upgraded. I gotta 
control right there. Let's just do that. So we've added 24 terabytes of hard drive space, uh, 800 gigs of probably cache space, and a 10 gig NIC in, in like 10 minutes. Um, and it was only that slow because, you know, I was documenting the process. So I probably could have done this in like five, but it's all right. I actually am really happy, really happy to have this stuff in. I feel really bad about how long it took me to get this done because I've had this stuff for a while. And Synology has been really, really patient, really, really awesome. So I think, I think with all that said, it's time to get this back in its spot and powered back up. So once I got the new hardware in the 923 Plus, I got it booted up, found the new IP on my network with the 10 gig NIC, I immediately wanted to check out the 10 gig speeds on the device. So I used an iPerf test between my two Synology devices and managed to consistently get about nine and a half gigs. So I was really happy with that. So then I went back to the dashboard and went through the process of getting the new storage pool set up. And I decided to go with the Synology Hybrid RAID setup as I like how it works. Uh, you can mix and match the drive sizes with the SHR, and in the event of a drive failure, SHR can automatically re rebuild the array using the remaining drives, which really simplifies data recovery and minimizes downtime. So once that was done, I went ahead and set up the NVMe drive as a cache for the new storage pool to make the device even faster to access. And then I decided to actually get to the point. Look, my goal here is to use the 923 Plus initially to back up my old YouTube projects from the DS1621XS Plus, and then at least for a while, use it as my YouTube backup solution. So I went through the process of doing a Synology to Synology backup and I let it run for a while. Uh, after about an hour or so, I had backed up about 750 gigs of data. But then I realized the backup would just be a backup file uh, instead of a copy of the individual files from one device to another. Look, I know I'm probably screwing that up, but my initial my initial thought there was I saw the, the HBK file or whatever it's called, and I didn't like that. So uh, after realizing what I had done, I stopped the backup uh, that was running and then went back over to the 923 Plus and enabled rsync in the file services. Then I went back to the uh, DS1621XS Plus and configured a new backup using rsync instead of Synology to Synology. I immediately saw that the individual folders were being created and that in those folders were the individual images, videos, project files, and all of that kind of stuff from my different projects over the years. And this is what I was looking for. So at this point, I'm just going to let my backups run until they're done, and then I'll have a couple of terabytes of space left over, which should be fine at least for a while, since my YouTube video projects usually only take up about 20 to 30 gigs of space per project. And this will allow me to open up that space over on my 1621 XS Plus and have a bit of breathing room in my brain, if nowhere else, if I need to move some things around, and I know that I'll have some overhead if I need it. So I want to thank Synology for sending over the new hardware to help me pimp my NAS, as they put it. And I really appreciate their continued support over the past three and a half years or so. And I actually really do look forward to working with them in the future. Um, I'll have links to everything that I've talked about in this video in the description down below if you wanna check any of that stuff out. Um, also, I've got another NAS video coming from another company here very soon that I'm really excited to show you with you as well. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to get subscribed. Um, but I think with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, again, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.